You're watching ABC4 News, celebrating 75 years. As South Ogden Theater is preparing to open its doors to the public this week, and audiences will be greeted with what they say is quite the unique experience. Yeah, ABC4's Northern Utah correspondent Cade Garner shows us how that experience helps make the arts more inclusive. The Ziegfeld Theater has been working to make the arts more inclusive for those who perform, and those who watch. And on Friday, they'll start a three week long run of the Hunchback of Notre Dame, which will include American Sign Language, deaf performers, and spoken English. Come see me dance to the rhythm of the tambourine. Mac Millard rehearses for her upcoming performance as Esmeralda. I was like, I have to get on that audition sheet. I have to. She says it's a role of a lifetime. I'm afraid I've never been very good at following the rules. Just being in a show that has ASL is such a unique experience. Like, where else can I go and learn something like that? Um, so I just, that was what drew me here, is I had to come be a part of this show. The Lord doesn't know ASL, but you wouldn't know that by watching her rehearse, signing all of her lines. Though it is a language, it's also so beautiful to watch. Morgan Perry is the owner of the theater, which she says works to make every show inclusive to people of all abilities. She says for the deaf community, accessibility isn't always guaranteed. And there's a real lack of, of money being spent on translators for those individuals to be able to come to shows and be able to see this type of art. She says a grant from Rocky Mountain Power allows them to hire translators and incorporate ASL into every aspect of the show. In this, the book by Victor Hugo of The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Quasimodo is deaf. So for this particular production, it's extra special that our Quasimodo is played by a deaf actor. Watching our Quasimodo sign is just so beautiful. And, and because it's his first language, it's amazing to watch. It's wonderful to see that diversity in people we cast and also the different abilities that we cast. It's beautiful and it's something that the community needs and it needs to become more of a mainstream thing. This is the third show the theater's put on in which they've included American Sign Language into their performances. The Hunchback of Notre Dame runs from September 1st through the 23rd. Reporting from South Ogden, Kate Garner, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Kate. And coming up, 